As the debate rages over the pros and cons of GM foods, there has been much new information that has come to light in this issue. Public awareness concerning this issue is picking up in intensity. Many are coming to realize that there may be a wide variety of concerns regarding genetically modified food. However, the group promoting genetically modified foods is constantly trying to sway our opinion on the subject. The United States seems to promote GM foods. Many European countries reject the idea. Just recently, a large chemical manufacturer in Germany went out of business due to the fact that Germans decided not to buy GM foods. Chinese researchers have discovered human DNA that contain components from eating genetically modified foods. I'm sure more discoveries are coming in the near future. To see what both sides of the issue are talking about, we will discuss some of the pros and cons of GM foods. Though this is a complicated matter, here are some of the general issues that both parties are looking at. Some of the advantages are that genetically modified crops have a higher yield, thus the ability to feed more people. Genetically modified seeds produce stronger plants, thus decreasing the need to use pesticides and herbicides. Genetically modified crops can withstand high fluctuations in weather extremes. It is also said that more nutrients can be added to the food being produced and that the food will stay fresh for a longer period of time. Some of the disadvantages is that there is a concern that GM crops can cause other species to have undiscovered diseases. Insects may become resistant to the natural pesticides contained in the plants. Another disadvantage is that there may be components in these foods that some people are allergic to. Another problem, antibiotic resistant organisms can appear which would weaken a person's immune system. There could be changes in the vital organs of humans. There may be highly increased chances of cancer also. Another problem is that many farmers could grow the same kind of crop which could lead to vast amounts of food being lost because of disease. The biggest problem with GM foods is that there is a lack of long-term studies regarding the issue concerned. So as the pros and cons of GM foods continue, the public must be aware of the positive and negative aspects of the issue. This is necessary not only to make good choices in food, but to protect your family from any possible health concerns. Thank you for watching our video. Please feel free to leave a comment. If you would like more information, pay us a visit at www.ourneedtoknow.com.